And a very pleasant good afternoon, everyone. It is a little later than normal, but thanks for checking in with Whiteboard Weather again this afternoon on this Monday afternoon. you got to check and remember the day. It's Monday. Kind of lose track of what day it is with the holidays and the weekends. and um, But it is Monday, December the 30th, the last Monday of this year and the last Monday of this decade. So, there is that. New Year's Eve right around the corner. An interesting day it has been with some sunshine, clouds, a few rain showers here and there, and even a few rainbows to be seen uh, across parts of the area this afternoon. If you happen to capture a picture of a rainbow, do me a solid, send it to me. Love to see it. Uh, you can post it in the comments section or you can email it. Either way works, whatever is easier uh, for you. Let us start off the show, as we often do, with some music. It's Good Brother Earl and the Whiteboard Weather theme song. We're getting a new one in the new year. A new and improved Whiteboard Weather theme song. Good Brother Earl's working on it. But until then, enjoy the original with some pictures from PittsburghWeatherNow.com. And welcome everyone to Whiteboard Weather on this Monday afternoon once again. And since it is Monday, this is the day where Simply Accurate Whiteboard Weather meets Simply Delicious Dante's Pizzeria located in South Park right along Brownsville Road and right across from the South Park Golf Course. If you're looking for some food, delicious food, to round out the new year, why not give Dante's a call? You can either stop in, you can dine in, you can take out. They have hand-tossed dough, scratch-made meatballs, fresh-made pizza sauce, all using local vendors for all of their products. And the pizza, as I said, is simply delicious. The Monday special, by the way, is two large pizzas, one regular topping each for just $24. Or you can opt for... The pickle pizza. Either way, head out to Dante's, give them a call. And I should mention if you're not going to go to Dante's today, tomorrow they are open from 11 to 7 on New Year's Eve. So you can stop into Dante's and get your New Year's Eve pizza pies, but they will be closed on New Year's Day. It is Dante's Pizzeria and it is simply delicious. Look at that young man. He can't wait to get his mouth around. One of those slices from Dante's. And that's uh, the website, Dante's Pizzeria.com. So um, visit Dante's. Good people. Not only good food, they're good people. Dwayne is a the owner. Solid, solid, solid guy. So give him a visit. All right, I'm setting up radar right now. I apologize for reaching over you. There we go. Because there are a couple rain showers in the area which I'm going to show you uh, momentarily. For those of you wondering why we're on a little later today, uh, it's because my son had a hockey game. They're playing in a hockey tournament um, up at the uh, Lemieux Center in Cranberry. Uh, so we had a game that ran until about 3.30 this afternoon. Not the team's best performance. That's all I'm going to say. But there is tomorrow. We have another game tomorrow. So um, go Wildcats. All right, um, let us talk about some weather information. Uh, as I said, um, it's been an interesting day 
uh, with regards to the weather as we've seen some clouds, some sunshine at times, uh, some dark clouds, and also we talked about this this morning, it would be getting cooler throughout the course of the day, and that certainly has been the case. This morning, temperatures were near 60 degrees, upper 50s to near 60, and we're about 10 degrees cooler at this hour, really kind of on schedule with what we anticipated over the course of the day with some cooler air filtering in behind a departing cold front. And it's also been breezy, rather breezy as well. Right now, looking at some wind gusts across the area of 18, uh, 20 miles an hour in many locations uh, this afternoon. Those winds will lose some of their gusto this evening, uh, but they'll still be, we'll call them brisk. Probably about a 10 to 12 mile an hour wind can be expected. Uh, as we head down through this evening. All right, let me get you to some of the weather information. First, for those of you that have been wondering, uh, with the rain we had yesterday and this morning, where do we stand with the year in terms of top or cracking the top three for what is years on record? We are oh so close. This was as of noon today when I checked the numbers, and these were the numbers. The wettest years on record last year, 5783, tops the list. And number three, again, as of noon today, was 5224, and we were at 5223. So I'm not sure if there was any rain officially since noon today, but we are right there on the cusp of cracking the top three of the wettest years on record. And just FYI, average for a year is 38. Point one nine. So you take last year, combine it with this year, we are at about what, 100 and almost 111 inches. Uh, so that is about two and a half, uh, almost three years worth of precipitation in two years. So it has been a wet stretch over the last 24 months. And you know, we are sponsored on Mondays. By Dante's Pizzeria, located right there on Brownsville Road. There's the website, DantesPizzeria.com. Here's a look at radar. Not a lot of precipitation out there, but a couple of lines of uh, light rain showers. One coming through Beaver County right now. Looks to be around Ambridge, stretching up toward Zillianople. Maybe not into Zillianople, but very close. Uh, you get up into Lawrence County, a couple of showers there as well. One... Uh, looks like it's moving through right along the I-79 corridor from about Route 422 up toward Grove City. And another uh, area of showers now shifting over into Clarion as well as Armstrong County. So just a sort of a hit and miss setup with a few scattered showers late this afternoon. And you can look from location to location. You're getting different reports. Some places reporting light rain, others reporting partly sunny skies, and others reporting cloudy skies. So really is location dependent as to what you're seeing outside your window this afternoon. Here's the temperatures. Look at Erie, 41, 55 right now in Latrobe and everyone else falls pretty much somewhere in between uh, upper 40s in many locations. And there are your wind speeds out of the west, southwest at about 12 to 15 miles an hour with again, some of those gusts near 20 and 25 miles per hour. So that's your current conditions. Here's a look at your current surface map headed through this evening. Here's your parents, the main area of low pressure. It's here and through the Great Lakes. The cold front is now across the eastern part of the state. Now the cold front's no longer a problem for us. This low though is going to sit in a similar spot for about the next 24 hours. What happens is think of this as like the center of a bicycle wheel and there are spokes of energy that comes out from that center of bicycle wheel. Here's your next spoke of energy, this dashed line that'll kick down across the Great Lakes as we head through the next 24 hours. This is tomorrow morning. There's your spoke of energy kind of shifting through the southern Great Lakes. And as a result of that, there will be a little more moisture and we'll probably squeeze out a few scattered flurries tomorrow, maybe even a couple sprinkles this is the afternoon, and you can see there's a little green in here mixed in with a little bit of blue. So uh, flurries, maybe even a light rain shower tomorrow. Temperatures should be mainly above freezing. So even if you do see some flakes and flurries flying tomorrow, nothing's going to stick. Given the fact temperatures will be above freezing and marginal, 
and the ground is actually fairly warm uh, given the warm up we've seen over the last few days. Now as we get into New, whoop, New Year's Eve, let me back up here a little bit. This is tomorrow evening. You can still see a flake or flurry around. This is about 7 o'clock, so if you're headed out for tomorrow evening, there could be a flake or flurry in the air, but it's not going to be much. It's generally just going to be brisk and chilly. And then New Year's Day, this is Wednesday morning. We start off New Year's Day with some ridging of high pressure. I think we'll see some sunshine uh, to start off 2020. Maybe not start off the day on Wednesday, but eventually we will see some sunshine on Wednesday afternoon. Quickly looking ahead, as I like to sometimes do, this is, you can see the date, January 4th through the 8th. So this takes us really through the next 10 days. The big N right there means near normal temperatures. For us, that would mean generally probably upper 30s to near 40 degrees is going to be probably the roll over the course of the first 10 days or so of January. So what does that mean? Basically, it means it's going to be chilly, but not bitterly cold. Don't expect we will see any really cold, harsh uh, winter air over the next week to 10 days. So the start of January should be very close to average with regards to temperatures. So nothing bitterly cold um, in terms of temperature to start off the new year. Before we get over to the whiteboard, which we will in just a moment. Very quickly, a few birthdays today. Tiger Woods, LeBron James, Carson Wentz, all born today. And it is National Bacon Day today. So throw yourself a couple of slices of bacon on the fryer, maybe as part of dinner tonight. Or put the bacon on a burger or a sandwich or whatever. It's Bacon Day today. There you go. All right, let's get over to the whiteboard. Breaking it down for you as we round out 2019 and we look clear ahead to 2020. Clear vision in 2020. Here's a look at your whiteboard for this Monday afternoon brought to you by Dante's Pizzeria. You can reach them online at Dante'sPizzeria.com or you can visit them at their location right there on Brownsville Road across from the South Park Golf Course. Dante's Pizzeria is simply delicious. And whiteboard weather is simply accurate. Here's a look at your sunset time, 5.02. Moon is waxing crescent. December, so far, just for the month of December, total precipitation, 3.41. And of that, 3.9 inches was snow that was melted down into a liquid form to give you the 3.41. So we're at a surplus for the month. No big chill, as I mentioned, over the next 10 days. It will be seasonably cool, but nothing bitterly cold to start off 2020. For tonight, mostly cloudy, 34, the low temperature. And you heard me say before, we should stay above freezing tonight and through tomorrow, 38, the high temperature. So a much chillier day tomorrow than we've seen lately, but it's seasonably chilly. Again, the normal high is about 36, so we'll be right in that ballpark. Cloudy, cold, Scattered flurries, little or no accumulation, maybe north of I-80, there could be a, a minor accumulation, but locally uh, not a big deal for New Year's Eve day and New Year's Eve night. If you're heading out between 6 o'clock and midnight, look for temperatures in the mid-30s, cloudy skies, and again, I will allow locally for a flurry or two. We'll call it a festive flurry in the air for New Year's Eve tomorrow night. Uh, but again, it's not gonna amount to much. New Year's Day, we start off 2020 with a high of 39. Morning clouds, afternoon sunshine. Thursday, 45, it warms up again fairly quickly. Partly sunny skies. Friday, 54, mild, but I do think rain showers return on Friday. And they'll wrap up Saturday morning with an afternoon high Saturday of 42 degrees if you're looking ahead to next weekend. So that is a look at your whiteboard for this Monday afternoon brought to you by Dante's Pizzeria in South Park or online at Dante's Pizzeria.com. So that's what I have for you today. 
you're all caught up with regards to our weather, there is no need to sit around and wait for weather information. You have to sit through car accident stories or fires or crime stories. None of that here. Simply accurate, no hype weather. You're in the right place, my friends. And I know you know that by now. Um, it's going to do it for today. Have yourself an outstanding rest of the day. As always, please share. Make it a New Year's resolution to always share whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends. Um, just do it. Just hit the share button, man. Let's push it out to as many people as possible uh, and get more people to join our family here in 2020. Like a big family, big family of weather geeks. They congregate here every day, 7 a.m., 3 p.m. See you tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow morning, by the way, I think we're going to go on to Brown 7.30 tomorrow morning. We're going to push it back about 30 minutes. So just FYI. Uh, so we're going to have a, a little bit of a time change tomorrow. Sleep in. Extra half hour tomorrow. 7.30 tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Have yourself a great day, everyone. I saw somebody had a, got a whiteboard weather sweatshirt for Christmas. Well done. Well, wear it with pride. Have a great evening, my friends. I will see you tomorrow morning at 7.30. Sleep in the extra half hour. Peace.